Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, me and Sean are going to talk to an imam all the way from France. Hello. Oh. Hi. Salam alaikum. Salam. How are you doing? We are fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, fine. Happy to be with you. Thank you to invite me. No problem. Thank you for having us. So, how is it going now after your uh, marriage? You was the first uh, uh, marriage of this kind in UK, right? Yeah, that's correct. It was, yeah. It's, it's going well. Really, really well. Thank you. You didn't have any particular issue or...? Oh, there's always going to be problems in there, but... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, what can we do? I guess. <laughs> what can we do? Yes, yes. Oh, great. Where are you located now exactly in UK? Uh, where it is, but it looks like a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you are very beautifully dressed, so... Thank you. Mashallah. Thank you. You too. So, thank you. The idea is to proceed to the... Um, uh, to the uh, conversion, that's it? Yeah, yeah. And to the blessing of your rings? Yeah, inshallah, yeah. Inshallah, mashallah. Great. So maybe we can start uh, by the conversion, which is very simple. And I try to explain as deeply with the highest scrutiny the shahada, the testimony of faith in English. Uh, generally when I do that and then the blessing of the rings goes through we can do the Fatiha ceremony which is have you got a religious blessing before or only the civil marriage just the civil marriage okay okay so the uh, uh, Fatiha ceremony Fatiha is the opening the first chapter of the Quran that generally we read during those occasions yeah and before that, I say a few words about what is marriage for Islam within the Islamic, uh, the Islamic tradition, what it is not. And um, um, interfaith, uh, uh, intercultural uh, marriages, why is it important nowadays with everything that we're living here in Europe and elsewhere? And then I leave the floor to you so you can say a few words. You can uh, show me the rings since you already exchanged them. And then the last part is the Fatiha itself. The Quran, the Quran uh, uh, reading uh, uh, the Quran in, in Arabic and then I translate it in English. Okay, brilliant. Okay, let's start maybe with a little prayer. Yeah, sure. In Alhamdulillah. نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له وما يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله All praise are to be given to the divine our Lord Allah سبحانه وتعالى those that uh, who have been enlightened by God, nobody can hurt them. And those who do not know the divine, nobody can help them and enlighten them. And I testify there's ne there's, that there is no divine but God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is one of his uh, messengers and prophets. Amen. So the Shahada, the testimony of faith, which is traditionally considered as the main and the first and the most important pillar of Islam, is the fact that in front of witnesses uh, who are going to symbolically, all of that is about symbols, you can convert yourself on your own, that's completely halal. But symbolically, it's also very beautiful to have people within the community welcoming you spiritually within the community officially and testify the fact that you are one of us even though humanity is one god is one we know that 
So the testimony of faith in Arabic, it's La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. We're going to repeat that together afterwards, but I just want to explain that the way I understand it. La ilaha literally means no God. Literally. So in, in mystical Islam, Sufi masters, you know Sufism, huh? Yeah. So it's it's a, a mystical, very very deeply uh, spiritual tradition within Islam, with uh, great scholars teaching us more in depth the matter about the message of the Quran and the tradition of the Prophet ﷺ. Not just the facade about you know praying like a gymnastic, not understanding what we're doing, but those particular Sufi mystical, very spiritual scholars taught us a bit more about our own tradition throughout centuries, you know, starting from middle age up to nowadays. And in Sufi mystical tradition, they told us, those scholars, that Islam is... Um, uh, I forgot the, 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 the name exactly, but it's a specific kind of theology of spirituality that starts, which starts by denying any representation of God. No matter how you can try hard to imagine what God is, God is higher. That's what it means. Allah Akbar, God is greater than anything you can imagine and more beautiful and more peaceful than anything we can imagine as humans. And we believe in that without seeing God with our eyes, which is very beautiful. That that act of faith in God, but that act of faith has to start by denying that God is, uh, is uh, you are able to imagine what God is, you know, and to take God and to put it into an ideology or into a book or into a tradition that God is greater than anything, is greater than Islam, that Christianism, that humanity itself. That's why some people, you know, are are worshipping the Islamic tradition instead, instead of worshipping God himself herself. So that's very important to understand that the first pillar of Islam is about denying any kind of dogmatism. God is not within a dogmatic ideology or another. God is greater, Allahu Akbar. So starting by la ilaha, there is no God, illa Allah. And that's very important, the second part of the shahada is about Allah, which is not the name of God. Allah is not like uh, Jesus or uh, uh, Buddha. No, Allah in Arabic means the divine. The divine and, and, and also it means in Arabic the best within us. So this is very nice also because we see that we deny any kind of illusion and then we start by believing in something that is greater than our human instinct and jealousy and mean attitude and we are beyond that we try to be beyond that that's how we find islam which means being in peace with ourselves and others through that sharia sharia is not the law as they say unfortunately sharia is a path a spiritual path that we follow salat al-mustaqim middle way not to extreme one side or the other but just trying to find peace and the face of God at the end of our lives, inshallah. inshallah. And the second part of the shahada is Muhammadun Rasulullah. Muhammad is a prophet of God, which is also very interesting because it doesn't say um, uh, Muhammad is the only prophet. It says Muhammad Rasulullah. It's one prophet among so many others uh, who are quoted in the Quran. Thousands and thousands of prophets are quoted in the Quran, and that's also pretty unique in, in our tradition, that all traditions have to be respected. The Quran says, Ya Ahlul Kitab, ta'alaw ila kalimatil sawa in baynana wa baynakum. All people of God, people of spiritual traditions, non-Muslims, if you want, come to a, a, a word of equality between you and us very beautiful because it means that we'd be all brothers and sisters on, on this earth, no matter our color, our origins, our faith, 
what has to stay between us is the peace and the concord and the uh, empathy because this is what the Quran is telling us. What is important is not the vehicle, what kind of or the brand of the, the car that you're driving. The, the, the important is that we're going the same way towards peace and, and empathy and mm -hmm. love, inshallah. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Yes. So, would you have any, do you have any question? And so, is the conversion done online? You could do it like now, now and here, or do we need to fly over or anything? No, no, we can do it online and I can send you a certificate also saying that we, we proceeded to the uh, um, uh, Shahada together. Oh, brilliant. Okay, okay perfect. How do you feel about that? I'm fine. <laughs> it's a bit nervous, but it's okay. <laughs> you know, I used to say, and, and, and even Buddha, you know, is quoted in the Quran. It's called, uh, he's called Dhulkif. The one that used to stay, I don't know how to say in English, you know, when as Buddhists to do meditation, they put their legs in a special position. Oh yeah, the, the poles, the yoga poles. Exactly, so oh. they, that's how the Quran describes this prophet. So many people think amongst myself that it is Buddha. That's how he is called in the Quran. And in Buddhism, they teach that uh, we're not really converting to a, a, a given tradition because we're all part of the same human family. The, the thing is that we decided at one point of our life because we feel it's good for us to follow the blessings and the teachings of one tradition particularly because we could not follow everything. Unfortunately, we don't have the time enough. So converting to Islam means that you are getting closer to God through that vehicle that we call Islam, but you stay yourself, you know? You're not going to change. You don't have to change your name, your habits, your, you, you, you just have to try to understand the message of peace that has been sent through Islam, through the mouth of your human being, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But you could follow Jesus, peace be upon him, or Musa, or Buddha, peace be upon all of them. It's okay. It's just that if you think that Islam is a good vehicle for you, then yeah, welcome. Thank you. Definitely. Do you want to do it now, or maybe you, we take another appointment to do it? You take your time to think about it as you want. What do you think? We do do have time to think about it. Um, okay. Now I'll be fine. You will do it now? Yeah. Okay. He said he's ready. Yeah, he's fine. He's been waiting for a while for this. Okay, excellent. So, sure, maybe we can repeat together the sentence and then I will, uh, I did translate it to you so we can repeat it together in Arabic. Is it okay? I try my best. <laughs> yes, the sentence I'll be telling you. Yes, yes. Yeah, I try my best. It's very really easy. That's not the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> We repeat together, la ila, la lila, illa, illa, Allah, Allah, Muhammad, Muhammad, Rasul, Rasul, Allah, Allah. There is no God but the divine Allah and Muhammad is one of his uh, prophets and messengers. Inshallah. I mean, congratulations. MashaAllah, Mabrook. Thank you. <laughs> you said the, the Shahada with us. MashaAllah. Witness that. Very good. That's brilliant. How do you feel? I don't know. I feel like I'm just so glad I actually said it right. I thought I was going to mess up. Oh no, you did a good accent. It was good. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. it was good. It was good. It was brilliant. You yeah, know. Amazing. Thank you so much. So many people speak Arabic, so. They all speak with different accents and then it's okay. <laughs> and and now if you need any advice, of course, I'm, uh, 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 I wish I can be as available as I can to answer your questions. If you want to learn anything specific, I don't have all the answers. 
uh, I'm not dogmatic, as I said, so I, I'm not giving fatwas like you have to do this or that, but I can give advices. Yeah. So do not hesitate to send me questions on WhatsApp or email, especially about some certain practices. We have manuals also, for example, if one day you want to go to the second pillar or third pillar of Islam, which is Salat and, and, and CM during Ramadan, things like that, we have manuals in English, books, that I can send you in PDF. And you can read through and ask questions afterwards, no problem. We're also giving classes for basic Islam level, for people who want to learn more about Islam. Every second Thursday, which is not tonight, but this, uh, next week, inshallah, Thursday at 7 p.m. past time. And you're more than welcome to join. To join, there's events organized on my Facebook page, and you click on it at eight o'clock, at uh, seven o'clock, and you are on the Zoom with us. Oh, perfect. Oh, brilliant. And the, the the next week, Thursday, seven p.m., we start talking about the pillars of Islam, which is Jada. You did it now. Uh, uh, prayers, fasting during Ramadan, just to get to know a bit more about that. If you could not be with us, it's okay. I can also send you the, the booklets. You just have to remind me uh, by email or WhatsApp. Perfect. Beautiful.